the members of the press here and the country at large. You are aware and you have seen, you have equally covered as the press today, the alleged flagging off of 250 Uganda Muslim pilgrims to Mecca, allegedly transported by Uganda Airlines, and the alleged flagging off by a one works minister together with an, an officer from the prime minister's office is it the deputy prime minister some officials of uganda airline and a number of muslim leaders ladies and gentlemen i'm here specifically to echo a demand for alternative flights for the hundreds of Uganda Muslims who were scheduled to travel via the Uganda Airlines to, to, to Mecca for Hajj 2023, specifically those who are scheduled to travel today. It is not true, and I want to challenge Uganda Airlines to produce a list or even a single photo of 100 pilgrims. To the contrary, Uganda Airline went half empty, if not almost empty. Ladies and gentlemen, the alleged flagging off of 250 Muslims to Mecca for hijab by works minister via the Uganda Airline is misleading and has caused anxiety among, among stranded Uganda Muslim pilgrims who are meant to travel to Mecca for 2023 and we had been scheduled to travel via the Uganda airline today. Those several Uganda Haji offices had specifically chartered and paid Uganda airlines for flying out Uganda pilgrims and Uganda pilgrims and the government of Saudi Arabia had cleared a route and landing rights for Uganda airline for this lot of pilgrims. I want to set the record straight that hundreds of Uganda pilgrims who were scheduled to travel today have not actually traveled. The alleged Uganda airline flight almost went empty. Hundreds of Uganda pilgrims remain stranded at Entebbe and some along the roads. They had not secured Haji visas and could not travel. Around 150 scheduled passengers, around 150 scheduled, scheduled passengers or pilgrims who are supposed to travel by Uganda airline were left stranded and left behind. Those you saw at Entebbe where the officers allegedly paraded to flag off, they were allowed even entry to the airline, but those are not the pilgrims. Another category of the stranded pilgrims are those who had booked and other airline providers and some had even chartered them like Ethiopia Airlines. Several Hija offices are reporting losses as several others, other chartered flights have also indicated, including Uganda Airlines, that they cannot, the tickets cannot be rebooked. Specifically as a shadow minister for foreign affairs, I've reached out to Uganda Embassy in Saudi Arabia, myself. I've also made physical interactions and meetings with the, with the, uh, with the Uganda Bureau of Haji Affairs. They all confirm that there are delays in securing Haji visas for hundreds of Uganda Muslims, Muslim pilgrims who are scheduled to travel for Hijja 2023. Unfortunately, Uganda Airline never networked well with the Uganda Bureau of Haji Affairs to ascertain the appropriate time and date or schedules for scheduling such flights and travel. The Uganda Bureau of Haji Affairs officials, however, briefed me that they are making efforts to finalize compliance with the Saudi Hija requirements so that the stranded Uganda pilgrims 
can secure Haji visas for 2023 and accordingly travel. We urgently demand that the government of Uganda, the Minister of Works and Transport, together with the Minister of Foreign Affairs, liaise with the Uganda Bureau of Haji Affairs, and take urgent steps to, to secure or alternative flights for the many stranded Uganda Haji pilgrims as soon as their visas are cleared. There was no essence in parading a flight when the passengers and travelers are not ready and are not there. There is urgency as well in negotiating with the Saudi authorities to simplify the Haji clearance for Uganda. I saw the ministers with the Saudi ambassador, they could not even labor to, to communicate that Saudi needs to assist Ugandan pilgrims to secure urgent clearances. Nothing was mentioned whatsoever at the alleged flag, flag off. We also need to negotiate with Saudi Arabia to extend the deadline for Uganda, plus allowing Ugandan pilgrims entry into Saudi and Mecca for Uganda pilgrims 2023. Saudi Arabia has set deadlines which are falling this week, probably around the Thursday. And when the deadlines fall, you cannot enter Saudi and you cannot enter Mecca for the Hajj rights. Meaning that if we don't negotiate in time for Uganda pilgrims to be cleared and to be allowed late entry, they won't be allowed to perform the Hajj rights, even if they are to travel, eventually. Uganda Airlines as well should liaise with Uganda Bureau of Hajj Affairs before scheduling subsequent flights and hundreds of pilgrims left behind today should be accorded the alternative flights. As I speak now, at the Uganda Bureau of Hajj Affairs, almost Muslim pilgrims are, are, want to, are fighting each other. They are flexing each other because, because of the anxiety created that the airline has left and probably that others are left behind. Among the Hajj offices in Uganda, there's a lot of scaffold because they paid for flights and the flights have gone. They are being told the money is not recoverable. Mind you, Uganda pilgrims struggle to collect and save to perform this important, uh, the important Islamic ritual. And, and they have no alternative source of, source of income at this particular moment to, to raise the funds for alternative tickets for any airline. The Uganda Muslims and Uganda pilgrims must be supported and must be protected. What was paraded was a disguise and, 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 and probably intentional to market Uganda airline, not knowing that they are, they are sitting on the rights of Uganda Muslims and pilgrims who must be supported and protected to travel. You cannot parade an empty airline or aircraft and, and allege that you have transported the pilgrims. And I've got communication from a number of Haji offices that they have been told by, by Uganda airline to forget about the tickets they had issued before. This is a national carrier and we have a current crisis. The truth of the matter is that hundreds of Uganda pilgrims who had paid and booked through different Haji offices have not secured Haji visas for this year. Since last week, Uganda Haji Bureau has not been issuing visas. There are a lot of technical issues and compliance requirements from the Saudi side, which must be complied with by Uganda Bureau of Haji Affairs. And it has occasioned a delay. Now, a number of these pilgrims book travel through different Hajj offices in this country. They are all stuck. There are even some Hajj offices where all of them, 100%, have not yet secured visas. There are some Hajj offices where some passengers and pilgrims were cleared, but those reading them have not been cleared. They are still stranded in this country. No one is reading another. So the, some of the groups which even left are, are headless because the leaders are left behind trying to secure visas to travel. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a crisis because for the Muslims of this country, this comes once in a year. And if not bailed out, they are, they, they are likely to miss out. Equally, if no, no negotiations are done urgently to ensure that the, the, the period is extended, later arrivals is allowed for Uganda, even those who may travel subsequently may not be allowed to enter Mecca or to perform the Hajj race. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to demand First of all, to state that what you saw in the news as provided by Uganda Airline and the Works Minister is misleading. The Uganda pilgrims have not traveled. It's only a few. And the airline is scheduled to, to take 250 passengers, took less than 100 people. Now, what happens to the, left, to, to, to the others who have been left behind? 
remember even the, the subsequent chartered flight of tomorrow is also fixed for 250 passengers. Meaning, unless a sub, another flight is, is scheduled for these other remaining passengers, they may not travel. Also, in terms of in terms of travelers, these are Muslim pilgrims. They are now stuck and stranded. But they must perform a hajj, the Hajj race. Government must step up to support the, the, the pilgrims and ensure that they are transported for their Hajj race. Because a number of the booked flights have been cancelled. And mind you, for the chartered ones, they are saying they are not refunding the money. Now, what, are, what, what is going to happen to the Muslim pilgrims? What is going to be the fate of the Hajj offices? And it has caused a lot of anxiety among the community and especially the scheduled travelers. They don't know what, hap what, what, what will happen next. I, I, we are here to demand that alternative flights must be scheduled for the Uganda Muslims. I thank you.